Now that the model output has been post-processed with UPP, we can create plots and graphics to visualize those forecast fields. The plotting capabilities demonstrated in this system are not exhaustive, but are used to provide an example of plotting a variety of standard forecast fields. These include near surface and upper air variables, as well as accumulated precipitation, reflectivity, helicity, and CAPE. Let's go ahead and expand our Docker procedures. And since this can take a bit of time to run, let's copy and paste our Docker run command into the AWS terminal window and press enter to get it going. For this step, Docker uses the DT Center Python container to run the provided run Python script. And this uses shape files located in the data directory as well as the post-process forecast files produced in the previous step located in the post PRD output directory. The graphics that are generated in this step are placed in the Python PRD output directory. Let's pause for a few minutes while this step completes. Okay, so the Python program is now done. So we can navigate to the Python PRD directory and take a look at what we have. You'll see a number of PNG files that have been created for various forecast fields and each of the forecast hours. These can be visualized using the display tool. For example, let's take a look at the 250 winds at forecast hour zero. And we see we have some wind barbs and contours of our winds at 250. Now that you've created graphics for the forecast fields, you can move on to the verification step.